In this short video, I'm going to show you how BFD can be employed so that we can understand whether the OSPF neighborship is down or up as soon as something happens. By default, OSPF has its own timers, and I'm going to examine the timers in a few seconds. But when something happens, you need to wait for the timers to expire so that we understand that the routes from this OSPF process is no longer valid. But BFT is going to speed up this process and give the convergence to us in less than a second. But before continuing, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Also, I would like you to hit that thumbs up. That's going to motivate me to create a lot of videos like this for you. Also, there's a bell notification there. If you click on that bell notification, you will be notified of the latest videos that I am posting almost daily here. So let's go and check the OSPF process between router 7 and router 3. You see that these two are connected using Ethernet 02. Let's see, first of all, whether router 3 is a neighbor of router 7. So I go to router 3 here, and I'm going to type show IP OSPF neighbor. It says that router 7 is a neighbor, and it is connected using Ethernet 02. So what happens if I go to interface Ethernet 0 slash 2? So if I go to here and type shut, OSPF neighborship is going to go down. It is almost instantly, but on some of the iOS versions, it takes a long time for it to go down. It, it will take something up to 40 seconds sometimes to go down. So uh, what should I do to make sure that um, OSPF is going to be understood as fast as possible? So I'm going to no shut this interface first of all, and I'm going to go to rather OSPF process. The first thing that I need to do is to enable BFD. And there is a command here. The command is BFD. So if I just type BFD, all interfaces, and hit enter, this is going to enable BFD on all interfaces. This is just one part of the configuration as a matter of fact. You need to go to interface and configure this as well. So interface Ethernet 02 was the interface connected to router 7. What I'm doing here should be done on the other side as well. So first of all, we have two things to do here. First of all, we can type IPOSPF, BFD, and you can see that it says disable. This means that if you configure uh, BFD on all interfaces, you can just go to any interface that you wish and disable BFD for that specific BFD uh, interface. Here, I don't really want to do that. What I'm going to do is to change the timers for BFD because I want to have the minimum of convergence time in my network. So what I'm going to do is to type BFD and then you see that there is an interval which I'm going to go for that and it says how often do you want to send BFD hellos to the other side. So it can be as low as 50 and as high as something like 1 second. So I'm going to go with 100 milliseconds. Now it says, how long do you want to wait for the receipt of the, uh, you know, hello response? So that's going to be something like 100 milliseconds again for me. And it says, how many BFT hellos you are going to miss before you declare the other side down? Let's say that three hellos. So that's going to take something like 300 milliseconds, almost one third of a second. And that's super fast as a matter of fact. In some cases, I can of course uh, reduce this to 200 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds. But I guess that 300 milliseconds is going to be okay for my network. And I'm going to hit enter. So it says that multiplayer, of course, I just missed multiplayer three. I need to do the same thing on the other side. Now, I'm going to examine the logs message later, but let's go to router 7. Here, what I'm going to do is to do the same thing. I'm going to go to router OSPF1. I'm going to type BFD all interfaces. Also, I'm going to go to interface Ethernet 0 slash 2. Okay, so I can disable BFD, but I'm going to change the BFD interval. So I just type BFD interval. That's going to be 100 milliseconds for a minimum 100 milliseconds, and the multiplier is going to be 3. Hit enter, and everything is going to be done. Now, see what happened here. As soon as we, we enabled BFD, a BFD session now is created for this specific neighbor for processes OSPF, because BFD understands OSPF. Now that BFD session is up, it, it handles OSPF as soon as I 
make some change to the network BFT is going to understand it. So let's say that for example this link goes down for some reason. You see that very fast it understands it and OSPF goes down. If I just type no shot that's going to be the same. It's going to come up super fast. You see that uh, it takes a little while. That's because the database is being exchanged but it is as a matter of fact super fast. So BFT is going to be uh, helping us in understanding whether the link is still up or down and of course BFT is not just for SPF it understands some other processes but uh, OSPF is one of them that I just examined here. If I type show BFT you see that after that I can have a summary of that so it says that there is one session and it is up I can have BFT neighbors of course, there is just one BFT neighbor because I just configured it on one of the interfaces here. Also I can have BFT drops which means that how often we see a drop in BFT here there is of course zero drop so there is no problem with the messages that I receive from the other side and everything seems to be okay. Also show IP protocol if I just hit enter here it will say that OSPF is enabled. Of course it doesn't give me anything about BFT. Let's see show IP OSPF neighbor and I'm going to go with 3000 and see whether any information is here about BFT. It says for this specific neighbor BFT is enabled. So that's all and see you in a later video.